Welcome to another video in the SAP S4HANA Overhead Cost Management Playlist. In the last videos, I explained the allocation structure, the source structure, and many different topics related to internal order settlement. In the video today, I will continue this and I will explain the settlement profile. This is a configuration object that determines how the settlement is to be done for the internal order and also what are the default values for allocation structure, source structure, and so on when we create any new order. In the video today, I will show you what is the settlement profile and also how to configure it on SCAP S4HANA. I hope you have all been keeping well. It has been a while since I created any new content. Actually, the videos that were released in the last two weeks were recorded around two months ago. I was very busy lately in changing my residency status in France and also in changing projects and so on. So I didn't have enough time to create new content. I also didn't have enough time to respond to your comments or questions on Slack or LinkedIn. But hopefully in the coming period, I will get back to responding. I will also get back to creating more content. The good news is we are almost done with internal order settlement. I know this topic has taken too long. So this is enough for internal order settlement. Today will be the last video on this topic. And in the next video, I will move to internal order budgeting and the planning. Also, I will talk about budgeting for the cost center, which is a new topic in SAP s for hana which is very interesting. So now I'm happy that I will get to explain some interesting topics in the next videos. I am really done with internal order settlement. Anyway, today is the last video in the settlement topic. I hope you enjoy it. And let's talk about the settlement profile. The settlement profile is a configuration object that we configure and then assign to the different order types. So when we create any order, it comes by default with the settlement profile assigned to the order type. In the settlement profile, we determine many things related to how the settlement will be done and also what are the default values for the settlement. For example, the location structure and the source structure. So first, I will show you the settlement profile assigned to one of the internal orders and then I will switch to the configuration to SEP GUI and show you how to configure a settlement profile and the different fields available there and why they are used. So first to display an internal order, I will use the tile manage internal orders that we used in all the previous demos. Here I will insert my company code AG00 and I have many internal orders that are already created. I will open any of them. So let's open this one. Manage internal orders. And then to display the settlement parameters or the settlement profile, we already we have already done this before. First, let me go to the change mode here, edit and set settlement parameters. So the values we see here, they actually come from the settlement profile. So when we create the order, SAP will automatically bring the default allocation structure, the default settlement profile, the default uh, transfer structure and so on. Now the settlement profile assigned here is 20 overhead costs. Now, what is maintained inside the settlement profile? To see this, we have to switch to the configuration. So now let's switch to SAP GUI. And to go to the configuration, go to the transaction SPRO, SAP reference IMG, and then go to controlling, internal orders, actual posting, settlement, and then maintain settlement profiles. To see the documentation, you can click here. This will show you the SAP help. You can also see all the configuration steps that I will do today in the configuration manual that I share with the elite members. You can find it here. So if you are an elite or a platinum member, you can go to the configuration library and there go, go to configuration documents and you will find all the details explained in the S4HANA Asia from zero configuration. You can also ask me any questions you want on Slack. So if you have any questions about the configuration document, if you cannot find it, you can chat with me on Slack that I created for the channel members. If you are not a channel member yet and you would like to get access to Slack and to the configuration documents, then you can check the channel membership program. I will leave you a link here. Now, the, let's open the configuration transaction for the settlement profile. So click here, maintain settlement profiles. Here we have two things. We have inter settlement profile in order type. So this is where we assign the profile to different order types and we have maintained settlement profiles. So first we are going to maintain a profile, then we assign it to the different order types. So click here on maintain settlement profiles. Now the one that we had assigned to our order type was 20. I'm not going to change this one, I will copy it so we can do whatever we want without changing the standard configuration. And this one I will call Z 
j. Test a g. Now let's see the different details available in here. So double click. So first we have the settlement profile code and we have a description. And then we have actual cost or cost of sales. We have three options here. So either to be settled on full, can be settled or not for settlement. So if we set to be settled on full, it means that the order must be settled 100%. So all the costs assigned to the order must be settled. If we try to close the order or, or delete it with balance existing in the order, we will get an error message. If we choose can be settled, it means this order can be settled or cannot be settled. It's, it's optional. So if we try to close it, although there is a balance there, no error will be issued and we can normally close an order even if there is balance. Not for settlement, it means that this order is not to be settled. So even if we try to run the settlement for this order, it will not be settled because we have selected not for settlement. It all depends on the business scenario. Then we have down payments. So this is related to the down payments that we spend for investment measures. So if we spend a down payment for a construction project, for example, so we can either say that this down payment is to be settled or not for settlement. Personally, I have never used this option, so I will not be able to give you more details. You can check the system help by right clicking here and then click on help. And then SAP will display the help that you can check. And also you can test this option if you have any business process where you have down payments for investment measures. Then we have default values. This is where we assign the default allocation structure, source structure, PA transfer structure, and the object type. So the default allocation structure, I already explained what this is. Source structure, I also explained in one of the previous videos. The PA transfer structure is used to map the cost elements to value fields when we are using costing-based COPA. I'm not going to explain this in a separate video because we are all now going towards margin analysis or accounting-based. So I'm not going to create a detailed video explaining the PA transfer structure. If you want me to explain this in a separate video, then please leave me a comment. If I have many comments asking for this, then I will create another video. So the PA transfer structure is only relevant if we are using costing-based profitability analysis. Then we have the default object type. This is the default object type that we use for settlement. So if we create a new settlement line in the settlement rule, it will come with CTR, but we can change it to any other object we want. Then we have these indicators, which are related to the settlement rule that we create in the internal order. So 100% validation means that SAP will always check that we have created a settlement rule that, that sums up to 100%. Settlement percentage means we can settle with percentages. Equivalence numbers means we can create a rule that has equivalence numbers. And the amount is we can create a rule with an amount. I will show you this. So let's select all of these values. 100% settlement equivalence numbers amount settlement and save. And let's switch back quickly to SAP Fury and see if we assign this settlement profile to our internal order. What do these fields mean? So let's go back. Here I have SAP Fury. Now I'm going to assign my profile here, so ZG. Now let's look into the settlement rule we have here. So here we have four lines. So we are settling 60% to 1000 and 40% to 2000 from the source assignment 10. And if we go to the third line, so from the source assignment 20, we are settling 30% to 2000 and 70% to 3000. The source assignment is related to the source structure, which is something I already explained in the last videos. So if you don't understand what this is, check the playlist. So this is our settlement rule. Now, if we check any of these lines, here we have multiple options. And these are the ones that are controlled by the options that we just selected in the settlement profile. So for example, we have percentage. So we can say that this line will take 30%. So this is the percentage checkbox. So this is this one, percentage settlement. And also we have equivalence numbers. So we can say that cost center 1000 will take two parts, while cost center 3000 will take three parts. This is the equivalence number, and this is the second checkbox here, equivalence numbers. We also have amount settlement. So as you see here, we can actually say that this cost center will take 1000, and the other cost center will take 5000, like absolute value, 1000 and 5000. So this doesn't really change anything from the functionality point of view. It only changes how you like to maintain your settlement rules. And also changes if you have a business requirement saying that, for example, this order must settle 10,000 to a specific cost center every month. So a fixed value. In this case, we can use the amount field. This is why we use these checkboxes. 
And then the last one is 100% is for the validation. So for example, if I go here and say 50 and 40, so I'm going to change this percentage to 50% and then click on check. Now we get this warning message that the total is 90. So if you check the warning, total equal 90% for source assignment 10. So this is the warning we get because we selected in the settlement profile that SAP should check that we have 100% of the settlement uh, in the settlement rule. Now let's go back to the settlement profile. So now we understand all of these. The last one is variances to costing based profitability analysis, which means that any variances that remain in the internal order are to be settled to the profitability analysis costing based. Again, I'm not going to explain this part since I'm not going to explain the things related to costing based profitability analysis. If you want more explanation on this area, please leave me a comment. Now let's move to the right part of the screen and here we have the valid receivers. This is a very important part. I received many questions related to this. So here is where we determine what are the objects that are allowed to receive costs from the internal order. So the objects that we are going to settle the cost to. For example, our internal order can be settled to cost centers. It can be settled to internal orders. It can be settled to WBS elements, but it cannot be settled to material and or to a network. So here we have settlement not allowed. What this means is if you switch to the internal order and you open the category here in the settlement lines, you will find that we don't have the material and we don't have network. So if you would like to settle to a material, then in the settlement profile, you must maintain here that this is allowed, optional or required. So we can either say it's optional, it means that we can either use it or not, or we can say required, which means that the order must, be, must have at least one settlement line in the settlement rule that settles to this object. And this is something we can do to limit mistakes. So for example, if we have an order type for marketing expenses and we, we know that marketing expenses must be settled to cost centers, so we can say, come here and say, must settlement is required. It means that anyone creating an internal order from the marketing order type, they must maintain a settlement rule that has a cost center. Optional means we can either use it or not. Settlement not allowed means we cannot use it and we are not going to find it in the category list here in the internal order settlement rule. Then we have other parameters. So first we have the document type. This is the document type of the settlement document that will be posted when we run the internal order settlement. So this is the accounting document. It will have the uh, document type SA. Then we have the maximum number of distribution rules. This is the maximum number of rules we can maintain in the internal order. So for example, let's go back to our internal order and I have taken a pause from recording the video to create multiple lines. So now I have 10 lines in our settlement rule. So this is our internal order and we have, I have inserted multiple lines in the settlement rule. I tried to exceed 10. So as you see here, we have 10 lines. If I try to insert an additional line, click on insert, I get this error. So maximum number of 10 rules reached. We cannot maintain more than 10 lines in our settlement rule. So this is because in the settlement profile, we have selected the maximum number of rules 10. We can increase this if needed. Then we have the residence time. This is the number of months the, this, the settlement document will be available on the system before it is archived. So for example, today I'm running an internal order settlement. SAP is going to post the settlement document. This document will be available for three months and then it will be automatically archived. We can also change this if needed. Last one is currencies ledgers. So this one I have honestly never, I have never used in any of the projects. So I will not be able to give you a lot of details about this. But if you check the help, it has something, that it's related to the freely defined currencies and parallel ledgers. Maybe it's something that's unique to SAP s for hana I never had to use it. If you ever use this one, or if you think that this one can help you in any business process, please let me know in the comments and let's discuss this together. I don't have any business cases that I can share where this is going to be used. So this is it for the settlement profile. So we define the settlement profile. And as you see, it controls everything related to the order settlement. So if you have any issues in your internal order settlement, the first thing to do would be to check the settlement profile and then check the different uh, structures assigned here. Now, the second step in the configuration is to assign this settlement profile to the internal order types. So let's go back 
and I'm going to save this configuration. Go back. So the second step is enter statement profile in order types. So let's open this. And let's say, for example, for the internal order 400, 0, 400. So this is the internal order type. I want to use ZG. So this is our statement profile. Now save. And OK. Now, once I create an internal order from the order type 0, 400, SAP will automatically determine the statement profile ZG and all the different values that is configured inside. So let's go back. And now I'll click on cancel, okay. And let's go back to the main screen for manage internal orders and I'm going to create a new one. So click on create. Here the first thing we do is to insert a controlling area and an order type, so 0, 400. And then continue. Now if I go here to maintain settlement rule, set settlement parameters, we have the settlement profile ZG automatically determined because this is what we configured in the last configuration step. And then we have the allocation structure, the source structure, and the transfer structure for profitability analysis. All of these values came from the settlement profile. So this is it for the settlement profile and for the internal order settlement for now. Let me know if you want me to explain other topics related to internal order settlement, such as the PA transfer structure or the transfer of variances to profitability analysis. And I will see if I can create other videos, but for now I will move to other interesting topics. So next video I'm going to talk about the budget. So we'll see how we can create a budget on the internal order and also on the cost center, which is a new feature in SAP s I will also show you the difference between a budget and a plan in SAP. I hope you found the video useful and easy to understand. Don't forget to leave me your questions and comments. Also subscribe to the channel to get notified when I create new videos and share the videos with your connections. If you would like to get access to the configuration manuals or to the Slack chat group, then you can check the channel membership program. I will leave you a link here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.